How are you doing, everyone? I am the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but you can call me Bailey, and I have beef with you, my loyal subscribers. How come no one told me, and I hope at least it wasn't like every video, but how come no one told me that my audio was incredibly quiet? I hopefully it was just me, but I feel like it was probably you as well, because I don't know why my headphones, I checked all my settings. My volume was like all the way up and I could barely hear myself, so I don't know what you guys were listening to. It was probably a little whisper, if you could hear anything at all. Um, that being said, if it's way too loud now, please let me know. I know like speakers can vary a little bit, uh, but I can't imagine that it was varying so much that it sounded normal to you guys. Um, and you know, I want to make decent content for you all. I know that I just click record and stop recording and then upload. I don't edit, I don't really do much crazy stuff, but uh, hopefully you can actually hear me now. Um, if it's too loud, let me know, give me some feedback and I can adjust, but yeah, uh, we're going back to an oldie bit of goodie today. One of my, uh, best videos on the channel, uh, in terms of, you know, views and all that jazz was the saltiest goat player live, maybe because it had a, uh, you know, catchy title that made people be like, I want to see who's salty. What does he mean? The saltiest player alive, you know, that clickbait, uh, but it was with this deck, a burn deck that swapped into a chaos deck. Um, and the guy was salty because he sided in all his back row hate, and then I swapped into a deck with not a lot of back row at all. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. Quickly go over the deck. The burn cards, Desk Koala, Secret Barrel, Just Desserts, Magic Cylinder, Ring of Destruction, Lava Golem, and then some stall cards with the Gravity Bind and Area B. Uh, good cards, Pot, Charity, Delinquent Duo, Heavy Storm, uh, Magician of Faith, some Dark Mimics, and Mystic Tomato. Sangan, Mask of Darkness, DD Warrior Lady, Exiled Force, Black Luster Soldier, Tsukiyomi, Triple Book of Moon, MST, Double Nomen, Mirror Force, Tarantula. You guys can see it. Cyborg, Triple Meta, Triple Scapegoat, Premature, Snatch Steel, Double Rota, Don Zalug, Blade Knight, Double Mystic Swordsman Level 2, and an Air Knight Parshath. You know, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I wanted to play a deck that caused some salt in the past because the guy I played yesterday was incredibly salty. If you haven't watched that video, you can go and maybe listen to it, uh, or I won't be able to hear anything. Let's click this button, join pool. Why is Ring of Destruction? Oh, okay, it must, did I not click go? Oh, I was still in Edison. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, guys. Yeah, it's a little bit more than just a ring of destruction that was stopping me from playing Edison right there. Good luck, have fun. But we're going to see how this goes today. Hopefully you all are having a great day. If not, go and make it great, and then come back and watch this video. Opening hand, Just Desserts, Nobleman Across Out, Area B, Exiled Force, Gravity Bind, DD, Warrior, Ladi. Um, we'll go ahead... Do we set the DD Warrior Lady? No, we summon the DD Warrior Lady and end. I feel like he's going to be playing a crazy fast deck, but we'll see. All of a sudden, I'm having a weird pain in my side. Don't know what that is, but I will manage. I will record for you all, my lovely subscribers. He sets a monster and sets a back row. I draw Des Koala. We'll go ahead and Nobleman, his monster. It was a Shining Angel. Okay, so he's probably playing a Recruiter deck. I mean, obviously playing a Recruiter deck, most likely Recruiter Chaos. Um, I think we just go ahead and set the Des Koala. And I'll set Gravity Bind, just in case he wants to get a little cheeky with something. I hit him for 15 with the DD Warrior Lady, chipping away at those life points slowly but surely. X Head Cannon. Okay. So he will take 1600 damage from the Death Koala flip effect, and he can't even get over it. X Head Cannon is too small. Um, do I go ahead and Exiled Force? I don't know. I think I'll set the Just, divert, just Desserts and End. 
can do a thousand damage if he summons a monster. He's viewing his extra deck, which is interesting. Maybe he's got a metamorphosis of something? I mean, he's also running the... Eh, he's running the X-Head Cannon stuff, so he might have a Y or Z. What is it? Y Metal Tank? Z something Dragon? He just goes ahead and sets a monster. Uh, maybe Contact Fusing? Sets a back row. All right. I draw Mirror Force. I'll go ahead and set Mirror Force and set a Magician of Faith. I'm still feeling okay here. He goes to main phase two. He has nothing engraved, so even if that is a Magician of Faith, it doesn't really matter. He goes to battle. Attacks over the Magician of Faith. I get back a Nobleman, forcing him to kind of do something with this face-down monster. Unless he just wants to get it banished. Think on summon. I'll go ahead and just deserts. He'll take 1500 damage. So we've already chipped away a good amount. He goes to main phase 2, flips the Sangan, and goes to end phase. Secret Barrel. Alright, we'll go ahead and just try to attack for 500. Think if effect. So if I don't, if I let the Sangan go to grave, then he gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 for Sangan, 7, 8. He'll draw into 9, that's 1800 damage. Yeah, we'll banish the Sangan, I just don't see why not. It's going to be the best use we possibly can get out of it. And we'll go ahead and set the Secret Barrel. Y Dragon Head, that's it. So it's also Z Metal Tank. I was backwards. Give him credit for running a freaking XYZ deck in GOAT format. I know I've tried it before. It's a fun combo. That's fine. He can equip to the X Head Cannon. And I'm just going to Gravity Bind. Now I draw a Tsukiyomi. That will do 1,200. So we'll get, go ahead, normal summon Tsukiyomi. Target the Death Koala. Declared the Death Koala effect. And he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I need him to draw one more card. Then we'll just go to end phase. To hand. And we'll secret barrel and draw. All right, that's game. Honestly, I'm debating if I even want to... I might let him sideboard. Okay, he's done siding. So I'm just going to go right in with the burn deck. We want to see how the burn works. You guys know how a bad Chaos Warrior deck goes. The reason it's bad is because obviously it's not a optimal Chaos Warrior deck because I'm already running burn cards in there. And even though all the burn cards come out, it would be more optimal. What the hell? 
Okay, so he's going straight Union. I love it. Okay, I feel bad. We'll go ahead and set his tank. Well, nobleman attack for 1100. Set secret barrel, set magic cylinder, and just end our turn. Maybe he has heavy storm. That would get rid of his front line base. We'll go ahead and magic cylinder, making him eat 1400 damage. He sets a monster and ends. Or not, I'm sorry, not sets a monster, sets a back row. We'll set Tsukiyomi and set Mirror Force. He goes ahead and ends. I'll go ahead and set just desserts. Hopefully he attacks, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Um, that's fine. So we morphing jars. We both draw five. Keep pot of greeds. That's fine by me. Now the question is. Okay. He goes ahead and special summons. Getting ready to say on summon if he normals a monster. Call of the Haunted. X head cannon. Um, okay. On summon. think. I just want to see what X, Y. I don't know what X, Y does. I think it targets a spell trap, which makes me want to say this is fine. This is good. I think I can let 500 damage go, but I want to make sure my Mirror Force hopefully can survive. And if he just activates the effect of Y Dragon Head. It's good. If he just activates the effect of Y Dragon Head then I can chain just desserts if I want 2,000 damage. Okay. Um, that's fine. Twenty five hundred, he is eight plus five chain link. So 
chain link one mirror fourth. Chain link two, just desserts. Three, we'll do secret barrel. So he takes 16 plus 1,000, so 2,600. And that could potentially be game. I mean, I don't blame him. He's playing an X-Head Cannon deck. Honestly, kind of happy. It's a really cool looking deck. He's already normal summoned. He sets a back row. Sets two back row. And ends. We'll go ahead. Heavy Storm. Jar of Greed. Return. Limiter remove. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, and we'll just go ahead, set secret barrel, set book of moon. And we'll just activate secret barrel. Not going to make this guy wait too long. Does he say anything? Okay, he's salty. <laughs> People aren't happy when I play this deck. We'll play it again. Make someone else unhappy. I mean, the guy, you're playing a freaking x head cannon deck. Even if I'm playing Chaos, like, you're gonna lose. The odds are you're not gonna win with an x head cannon deck. Uh, this is as good as you can get. Pot Agreed, Delinquent Duo, Two, Do Two Faith, MST, not MST, Heavy Storm, Mirror Force. Um, let's go ahead, Delinquent Duo. Uh, hit the middle card. Hit a Dust Tornado. Okay, so not good to see the Dust Tornado, but a Dust Shoot as well. Uh, that's fine. We can then activate Pot of Greed. And we'll go ahead, set Faith. Um, do we set Magic Cylinder? No, we'll set Heavy Storm. We'll do a pro set heavy. Nothing in standby. He pot agrees himself. So five cards to six. Unfortunate Hemistic Swordsman's level twos. So Magician of Faith just dies, no effect. That's unfortunate, but we'll go ahead and Heavy Storm. It's a Mirror Force. And we'll set our own Mirror Force. Maybe I should have done Cylinder Koala, because then I could hit him for 900. Flip the Koala and attack over the monster, rather than wasting a... Mirror Force. Okay, and then he would have exiled. We'll go ahead. Set Koala. Set Secret Barrel. So this is where my deck doesn't work very well. He Kaikus. That's fine. But it's not very good when it comes to a grindy game like this, where grindy and low 
uh, resources. Not that my deck has very few resources, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the ability to draw out of things as easily. So he hits me for another, actually, mm, I'll magic cylinder. Probably could have saved it for the lava golem. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get the lava golem to go off. Well, Sukiyomi, target the kaiku. Try to attack over the kaiku, which I do. End phase, bring the soup to hand and end. Torrential Tribute will be decent here, depending on what he summons. Um, yeah, we'll Torrential Tribute the Blade Knight. We'll set MST, set the Tsukiyomi. We'll set his Blade Knight and end. Unfortunately, can't do anything else. He has five cards, so I could do 2,000 damage, but he's got the Blade Knight. Um, that's fine. The summon is fine. I'll take 2,000. 1600 draw lava golem I'll special the lava golem and end I can't summon the DD warrior lady or set it lava golem has the condition that I can't set or normal summon the turn that it is special summoned So he is just going to go ahead and attack for game. So we'll try it out here. Even though I don't think that my warrior deck is necessarily better than his warrior deck. Um, maybe what I can do is actually... Take out... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think that taking out the warriors or putting in the warriors is going to be better against his deck. It's basically like my bad warrior deck against his good warrior deck. My thought process is if I keep in the lava golems and the area being gravity bind. Uh, as well as meta and scapegoat, then maybe I can stall them out with stuff like Thousand Eyes Restrict or the spell traps like Airy B and Bind. So we're seeing basically that right here. We can activate Pot of Greed. And we'll go ahead and set the Mimic. Um, and we'll just end. He duos. Hitting my Dark Mimic. Um, I don't think I need the Sangan, so I'll send Sangan. T Potter gets. Okay, so he has the opening that I had last turn. Can't be mad. Only one Dark Mimic level one. And he Wong Hoos. So, he's got a good card. We'll go ahead and set Magician of Faith. And do we... Yeah, we activate Area B. So we can't... Uh, he could exile force. That's fine, because there's nothing I could do to stop that anyways.
Um, though actually, Wang Hu, I can't remember the ruling in GOAT format. I want to say that in modern it's a condition, but in GOAT it might start a chain. But because it starts a chain, well, it doesn't matter anyways. He got DD Warrior Lady. Um, let's go ahead and special summon a Lava Golem. Okay. Unfortunate. Um, well, we'll go ahead and end turn. Maybe flipping the Magician of Faith would have been better. He summons another Wong Hu. Fine by me. We'll set Torrential Tribute. Feel pretty decent about the stall position we got him in right now. We will set Mystic Tomato. He sets a back row. I'll set Mask of Darkness. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate the duo that we just drew. Hitting both cards out of his hand. We hit the BLS. And it, wow, good cards. Um, we'll just end right there. No point in doing anything else. He ends. I could set Exiled Force, get ready to flip it and then pop that Wong Hu, but I feel like the Wong is actually affecting him a lot right now. He sets Monster, all Noblemen. It's his own Exiled Force. And I'll just end. Eventually, I feel like I will draw the second Lava Golem and hopefully be able to put it on board and then have enough uh, turns to do the damage I need. That's my win condition at the moment. Though he's getting closer and closer to getting his outs. I probably should run Solemn Judgment in this, now that I think about it. Keep my important cards on the field. Um, I would get a little screwed over by a heavy storm. I mean, he would too, but I don't think setting mirror force is the play at the moment. Um, that's fine. Because I have the Mask of Darkness, I don't feel too bad about losing my Torrential Tribute. Mask of Darkness gets me back the Torrential. Um, I will flip summon, get rid of the Mobius, um, and I'll set Mirror Force and TT. Feel bad, you know, I was already typing not flip summon, but he got on, he caught it. As did I. Probably should have set DD Warrior Lady, but the fact that I set Torrential Tribute makes me not want to do that. I hope he summons a monster. That's fine, perfect. Um, think. 
Maybe I'll activate Torrential Tribute. Hopefully he solemns. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And now I will Mirror Force. He might have another Solemn, which is absolutely fine. It is what it is, but that's what I wanted. Okay, but he does have Call of the Haunted. Bringing back a tribe infecting virus. I actually don't know if I have any targets left. No targets. And I draw a gravity bind. Let's go ahead and normal summon DD Warrior Lady. I will chain Book of Moon and set my own DD Warrior Lady. And I'll set Gravity Bind. And then I'll activate Gravity Bind so we can't attack. So he's used TT, he's used Solemns, I'm going to go ahead, banish a light, banish a dark, declare, and I'll get rid of his monster. Unfortunately I can't attack, but I think that's fine. He has Still is exiled. He has two lights, but no, three lights, but no darks in grave. He dust tornadoes. Snatch steel. I'll eat 1400. Unfortunately, he has a Don Zaluke, so I'm going to lose a card. I lose my Book of Moon. Best card here would be Heavy Storm. Metamorphosis. Unfortunately, that's not going to do it. We'll set both, but that's going to be game if he just goes right to battle. He breakers. He pops my metamorphosis, and I assume he just goes for game. And good games. Let's go and just look at the deck real quick. So we got a little bit of salt little bit of salt in this video. Uh, nothing like I had in the last video. I really am sad that the audio is going to be so quiet, or at least I think it's so quiet. Again, tell me if it's too loud now. Let me know. Um, but the guy was just very upset over me making a misplay in his mind. And look, I'm not good at this game. I'm sure some people would say it was a misplay. If, long story short, I went for damage before synchroing and then synchroed, uh, into a Stardust main phase 2, but I had Rekindling in hand, so even if he was to have Mirror Forced my two Flanvels, I could just bring them back and then make a different Synchro. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a misplay. He was very upset saying that I'm a terrible player, um, and just was an asshole because I don't play optimally, and I'm like, it's a children's card game, we're here to have fun. I don't think making sub-optimal plays, and he didn't even have uh, mirror force in the first place so I just don't see why it was 
the worst thing that has ever happened on the face of the earth in his eyes. But he was not happy. Um, maybe, actually, I don't know the, the video um, or the replay, so I can't even go and talk about it. Regardless, 35 minutes. That's a nice little video for you guys. Thank you all for watching so much. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. I can't control you. Do what you want to do. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.